start now and then. My name is Jim Lane. The Surrealist movement of the 1920s is mostly the male-oriented phenomena. Names like Dolly, Magritte, Ernst, and Moreau were exploring the male psyche. The only female elements were sexual in nature, as related to Freudian old feelings and the liberation of the male imagination. Any women displaying in the Surrealist exhibitions were usually those romantically involved with the men in the group. Women like Lenora Carrington, who painted eerie dreamlike self-portraits regarding her May-December relationship with Max Ernst, were at best peripheral to the movement and interesting sideshows to their male counterparts. One who was not was Frida Kahlo. Born in 1910 near Mexico City, a nearly fatal trolley accident when she was 15 destined her to a crippled life of almost constant pain. Although she was married for ten stormy years to Mexican muralist Diego Rivera, whom she later called her second accident, she was in no way a shadow of her husband, who was not, after all, a surrealist. Her work stands beside the best the surrealist had to offer, her style distinctive, her paintings as powerful and personal as any Freudian nightmare of Dolly or André Meissen. Uh, in spite of this, Colin never embraced a surrealist label, claiming to be a painting not dreams, but her own reality. Probably the most vivid uh, exploration of the reality of her painful existence was her double self-portrait. The two Fridas, painted in 1939 for a Mexican surrealist exhibition, about the time of her divorce from Rivera. The painting pictures one Frida, dressed in a Victorian white gown representing her German heritage, holding the hand of another Frida in traditional Mexican dress. Her mother was Mexican. In both figures, her heart is exposed and her circulatory systems are intertwined. An artery begins with a cameo of Diego Rivera, held by the Mexican Frida, and ends with in the lap of the German Frida holding forceps, but unable to stem the flow of blood. A stormy photographer's backdrop uh, echoes her, fa her father's occupation and her marriage. Later that same year, through Rivera, she met André Breton, the French writer who founded the Surrealist movement and who adopted her as one of his own. He was instrumental in arranging shows for her in New York and Paris. She died in 1954. Today, uh, Frida Kahlo is regarded as the preeminent female painter in Mexican art history.